Hello, I just got a new um, Coptrax Black Angel 450 with a DFC head and I wanted to kind of make another video of how to um, put one of these together and set it up. So I've laid out on the table here just about everything um, I think I'll need to do this. Um, uh, there's some tools that I use a lot and I wanted to kind of show everybody those so that uh, if you working on a helicopter 450 500 in particular you'll you'll need these and uh, that makes things a lot easier um, magnetic screw pan so whenever you disassembling uh, the helicopter to move something around replace something this right here really helps to keep the uh, little screws and stuff in place and uh, you can kind of group them together and they won't roll around very much. Some of these little pieces in here are the, uh, the little standoffs and things like that, plastic pieces. So, it, you know, it don't hold those, but <coughs> some uh, little, uh, the bent needle nose pliers are real good for reaching in and uh, grabbing things. Um, a 1.5 millimeter hex driver with a long shaft. You'll see that this can be very useful. Just a small Phillips head screwdriver, some regular long nose, a needle nose, and then uh, I occasionally find that using just a small Allen wrench uh, lets me tighten a screw a little bit better than using a, a hex driver or get to some of those screws that have a lot of Loctite on them and um, you can really get some some uh, torque behind behind those <coughs> thread locker I got this from Hobby King this TL 242 works great I think it was only a couple of dollars <coughs> yeah I, I really recommend one of these one of these two sets right here um, it's got pretty much everything it's got most of what you need, but you really need more than that. So, you know, you can see that the things that you really use a lot from this kit are well, the 1.5 millimeter hex driver, um, um, you know, your, the, uh, the one for the, the nuts, you got the 2, two millimeter, 3 millimeter, and then you got 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 millimeter drivers uh, and you to do things like work with feather shafts on the 450 you need two 1.5 millimeters and sometimes two two millimeter drivers and the same thing for a 500 you'll need like two 2.5 millimeters so it's good I just keep several of those things in there like that um, something you'll use a lot you, you know the diagonals and the ball link pliers. Um, you use, it's got a needle nose, uh, you'll use your reamer to ream out those little ball links. That does work. Um, I've got two of those, different sizes. And this right here, this tool, um, it helps you tighten the ball link on the on the push rods, so you just put it in there and turn it. <coughs> That's very useful. And of course, pitch gauge. So, having one of these two kits is, is very useful. And then, in addition to that, having you know one long shaft um, driver, and then maybe a set of these, and then a couple. You need more than one of the 1.5, two, and maybe even the 2.5. So um, that's the tools there. Then I'm going to go with these um, Turnigy Metal Gear um, TGY 113 MG servos for the cyclic. And then I'm going to go with this Corona here for the, uh, for the tail. One of my favorite speed controllers is the uh, YGE <coughs> Yep. Yep is the YGE clone. And Heads Up RC also, I think, sells one called Star Power, something like that. It's, it's a, a YGE clone. 
So uh, I've already, you know, when I got it, it didn't have any ends. I had to put my ends. So you'll need, if you get something like this, you'll need a soldering iron and some connectors. So I did that myself, got that ready. Uh, put the, I've got a turn to motor here. And it's the 2223. And uh, got my Copper X uh, 3X2000 fly bar controller. So one of the first things to, to notice about the uh, Black Angel series is that the, uh, the main gear is a little bit different. It's not the same as a T-Rex 450 because uh, there are fewer gears. Um, this is a belt drive only and this right here is the drive, uh, the tail drive gear right here. So instead of having, you know, the other uh, large gear that uh, meshes with a, a, the belt drive gear separately, um, the belt attaches directly to the uh, main shaft and the main gear set. So um, that's something that um, sets this apart. Um, here's the DFC head. Looks, looks good. Um, there's the tail assembly with the belt. Now keep in mind that since the, uh, the belt drive for the Black Angel goes directly to the motor shaft, this belt is longer than the standard um, T-Rex 450 size belt. So this and this um, is not compatible with the T-Rex 450, but the, the DFC shaft, um, the, the tail rotor assembly is compatible, right? It's just the, the belt and that main gear set. There's the frame. Um, one other piece that's slightly different is the um, landing skids. The, um, on a, on a 450 Pro, there is a hole here and here in the center. One screw each end for, to hold this on, right? And for a 450 SE, version two, Sport, uh, maybe a couple others, um, there are two screw holes two screws front, two screws in the back that hold this um, skids on to the frame but they're in a different position so the Black Angel has these holes a little bit closer so um, it's, that's one more piece that's not compatible uh, with the regular 450 but everything else is so they provide um, some grease, some thread lock and some CA and uh, something else. <coughs> I think it's maybe red and blue thread lock. <coughs> but anyway, I don't ever use those. I have my own. I uh, think you get the regular wooden blades. Uh, I think I'm, I may put those on, but I'll replace them with my uh, some carbon fiber. But um, there's a tail fin and um, horizontal stabilizer some screws and a little push rod guides. So anyway, it's a very simple kit. But it's nicely packaged. And um, we'll be doing the very soon. Thank you.